Welcome, Warrior fans. Once again, we are all access this week. Joining us is assistant men's basketball coach Brady Moore. Coach, thanks for joining us. Glad to have you. Um, you know, just obviously the, the season just finished up, so, you know, take us through kind of your expectations of the year going in, how you finished. You know, obviously it wasn't uh, a national championship, but still an NCAA tournament appearance and a 20 plus win season. Yeah, you know, uh, expectations were high coming in for us. We, uh, we felt that we had a very good squad this year. Um, 20 wins is very important. Anytime you get 20 wins for a program, you're doing a heck of a job. Uh, our guys out on the floor, you know, they battled hard every night. Um, we just, you know, some years you have to be lucky. And I think in the past we've had, you know, we've we had very good teams, but you also have to have some luck involved. And, and this year we just never seemed to get any breaks go our way. Um, we had, you know, no excuses, but we had some injuries that, that you know, set back us, our, our rotation, our rhythm at times, but uh, expectations were high. We fell short, obviously, like you said. Uh, our goal every year is to win a national championship, uh, win the conference, and then you know do well in the conference tournament. So uh, making the regional is a great thing for our program. Uh, it's six years in a row. I think uh, you know us and maybe Mankato are the only teams in our region that can say that for the past six years, and it speaks volumes about our guys because uh, this group was a brand new group for the most part, uh, you know, only having two seniors on the squad. Uh, they learned a lot of valuable things, and, and they won some big games at times, too. So hopefully uh, we can carry over a lot of learning lessons from this year and be a better squad next year. Absolutely. I agree with you. Talk about those two seniors. You mentioned them. Uh, obviously, they've been a huge part of this program, David Johnson and Mike Muller. Just talk about their impact and, and maybe what's next for them. Uh, you know, both great guys. Both are, uh, you know, have two rings on their fingers that they can they can be proud of for the rest of their careers. And obviously, making a regional every year while they were here at Winona State is a big accomplishment. Uh, DJ, you know, uh, fourth, I think, all-time leading scorer here at Winona State. Huge accomplishment there for him. Um, probably one of the best three-point shooters we've had, uh, you know, it since I've been around, I can't think of too many other guys other than maybe yourself. Uh, that that uh, and and uh, I suppose I should throw Zach and David in there as well. Uh, but you know, very good three-point shooter. Uh, it, maybe the best pure shooter is just far as catch and shoot uh, and how quick he could get rid of the ball that I you know I've seen in a long time uh, great kid off the floor uh, did a lot of things for our program fun to be around um, really gonna miss him you know not only on the floor but you know just seeing him every day and being able to interact with them and then Mikey um, you know came in here uh, you know basically uh, from day one wasn't you know expected much of he, he battled he worked he really improved on his game he was a great Great guy to have around on our team. I thought he made, uh, you know, John Smith better. I think he's made Clayton better. Uh, he makes guys work in there. Um, and off the floor, just like with DJ, uh, great guy to be around. And, and it's, it's going to be sad not having him uh, cracking jokes and having fun on the bus next year as well. Absolutely. And, you know, you, you did talk about this a little bit, but a young team, you only lose those two seniors, a lot of great experience. But, you know, maybe what are some some student athletes that you're looking at for next year? What kind of gaps you need to fill? And then, you know, maybe some some guys that are going to still be around that you expect to contribute again. Uh, you know, can't mention names, but uh, we are uh, we're looking, you know, we're looking for ball players, basically guys that can come in that that, that compete and they want to be here and that they're proud to put on the Warrior uniform and they're going to come out and they're going to you know practice and play hard for us and have a great attitude. Uh, you know, we'll take. We're looking, you know, one, two position. Uh, we don't really have numbers, but, you know, you're looking point guard, shooting guard. Uh, also looking, you know, big guys. We're losing Mikey. Um, I think having him just in practice really helped us out having that 6'10", 6'11", uh, guys. So it never hurts if we can pick up a big guy or two out there as well. So, you know, but we, what we want are guys that are good, solid basketball players that want to be part of Winona State and they want to win a national championship. And that, that's the type of guy we're looking for, somebody that will lay it out on the line every night. And, and hopefully we find those guys. No doubt about it. And you guys have done a tremendous job in the past at recruiting quality student athletes that really contribute here on campus, the community, and do great in school. So we'll look forward to the signing period coming up in April and check WinonaStateWarriors.com for all the information on uh, the men's basketball program. This has been All Access with assistant coach Brady Moore.